creating all these things, and now they're going to blame the right-wing extremists. In other words, if we if we support federal laws on immigration, we are now right-wing extremists. <laughs> well, you know, this, this is not unprecedented, Michael. We went through this during the Clinton administration. Then there was no Department of Homeland Security, but the FBI was sick on the right-wing extremists back then. In fact, oh, they were more overt about the, the religious angle. They, they called their report, you might remember this, Project Megado. And it specifically targeted right-wing Christians who were concerned. You're kidding. Who believed that... Well, Joe, you're helping me... Yeah, he's full of shit is what he is. I look at this report and I feel as though I'm living Propaganda in a Propagandist motherfucker. ...by a Castro-like regime. Now, of course, uh, of course they're not saying that they're going to do anything, are they? No, in fact, they're saying nothing. There, there, there's nothing that any of these any of these folks have ever done to even warrant any attention. That's no, no, no. I mean, the federal government, the Homeland Security Department, so-called, is not ex uh, uh, saying so that they should be rounded up yet, are they? No, they're, but they're but it's most definitely advocating surveillance. This report was handed out to police departments across the country. Now, what was that all about? That was about telling, look, th th these are the folks you should be watching. Forget about Al-Qaeda, forget about Hezbollah, forget about terrorists. The people we need to watch in this country are basically the backbone of this country. <laughs> Do you know that they're actually in this report saying the following right-wing extremists, quote-unquote, are harnessing this historical election as a recruitment tool? Many right-wing extremists are antagonistic toward the new presidential administration and its perceived stance on a range of issues, including immigration and citizenship, the expansion of social programs to minorities, and restrictions on firearms ownership and use. These people are crazy! They also, of course, suggest that right-wing extremists are anti-black, and so they'll be concerned about the new administration because we've got a black president. You know, which is a, it's not. Joe, are they going to target the Navy SEALs when they come back from uh, from Somali, the, killing the Somali pirates and put them on a watch list? After all, they know how to use weapons. That's right, and they killed the uh, teenagers. They killed teenagers who were just trying to stop pollution. <laughs> No, this is serious. You know, we're, we're laughing about it, but this is a very, very ominous warning. Uh, and people need to read this report. They need to discuss it. They need to debate it, and they need to raise hell about it. Well, it says that this product, they're calling their report a product. Listen to this. These are vermin who have never done anything in their life except work for a government. But they're calling this report targeting loyal Americans as a product. I love that. That's, that's their idea of a product. This product contains law enforcement sensitive information. No portion of the LES information should be released to the media, the general public, or over non-secure internet servers. How did you get this, Joe? Actually, it wound up in my email inbox Sunday night. Well, it has so to be real then, doesn't it? So much junk, you know, you go through this stuff, deleting it, and I opened this one up, and here's the report. My first thought was, it's got to be a hoax. It's got to be a counterfeit. Somebody put this together, you know, hoping that I would put it up on the website. But, you know, we quickly confirmed that it was a real report from the Department, Department of Homeland Security. And, and we went with it, and within hours. And uh, Joe, they're saying that if you voted against homosexual marriage in one of 17 states, you are a right-wing extremist? Yeah, probably That's so. That's what it sounds like to me. I mean, there, there's a whole list that practically, I would say more than half the country would fit into one of the categories. And by the way, it specifically says a lot of folks are just single-issue people. Like, you know, their, their issue is abortion. So anybody who's got a pet issue, you don't have to believe in all of these things. You only have to believe in one of them to qualify to be under surveillance from law enforcement. Well, Joe, I know something about like government, and snuggles. I know that if they're not constrained early on, they're going to get worse and worse and worse. <laughs> and there's only one way to stop these people, and that's to sue them. I, that's what I'm going to do, Joe. I'm investigating through FOI. Uh, the names of anyone who may be on these watch lists. And, and if, if I'm on it, you're on it, or any talk shows are on it, I'm going to bring a lawsuit against Janet Napolitano and whoever wrote this report. And I'm going to see if I can get it up to the Supreme Court. You're the man, Savage. I'm happy to be a part of that uh, lawsuit. Uh, you know, I think you, you are a true freedom fighter, Michael, and 
Uh, I, I, but Joe, could you believe that this Obama administration would go this far so fast? No, it, I, I'll tell you, the speed surprises even me. And I, 